Welcome back to JK Fitness and Nutrition and welcome to today's workout. Workout two, week two, Tabra Strength and Cardio High Intensity Circuit Training Workout. What you're going to find within this workout is a, just a tad more body weight exercises. As we progress throughout the week, when we hit up our upper body, especially for our full body challenge, I will be incorporating more weighted compound movements. All right, but for today, let's focus on the task at hand. I have four circuits. Within each of those circuits, I have four exercises. Everything is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. I have two exercises focused on our upper body, either body weight or weighted, and same thing for the legs, body weight and weighted. We're gonna cycle through each circuit twice. Then at the end of the workout, what I've done is grouped together all the weighted upper body and body weight exercises. So we're gonna tackle the upper body first, and then bam, we're gonna hit the legs with our body weight and weighted exercises. So it's a lot of volume as you find as the workout progresses, you're going to get a bit more fatigued because the short interval times do catch up to you and we don't rest, right? We go from one rate to the other. So it's gonna be a good one. I love these types of workouts. Our heart rate's gonna be elevated or we're gonna be working every part of our body. All right, so make sure you have um, variation of dumbbells available, some space so you don't hurt yourself, and make sure you're stretched and warmed up and ready to go. All right, first circuit, we're gonna start with up, upper body. Body weight will be mountain runners on the ground. All right, plank position. I'm gonna start the timer in 10 seconds. Here we go. All right, mountain runners, stacking your shoulders over your wrists. You're just going to be driving your knees under your chest, keeping your core nice and tight. All right, here we go one two so always i like to push through the palms of my hands so we have weighted lower body exercise coming up i'm going to do some weighted curtsies alternating weighted curtsies all right five more seconds please make sure we're breathing that's it all right weighted curtsies dumbbell in each hand you're going to be coming down curtsy position coming across curtsy position okay here we go Curtsies for 20 seconds, and we're gonna do upper body. I wanna to snatch to an overhead press, one side at a time, alternating. So I'm gonna get grab a heavier dumbbell for that. All right, here we go. Keep going, keeping your chest up, driving your weight, your heel of that front foot. Three more seconds, two, one, great job. Midline, snatch all the way up, drop it to your shoulder, overhead press, other side. Here we go. Remember to use your legs for this movement as well. Pushing those knees out, extending up, drop it to your shoulder, overhead press. Two movements in one. We're gonna be doing a lot of that for our upper body. Two movements stacked together. Three more seconds, we're gonna do some body weight legs. I want some pop surfers. So we are here, popping out to the side, back to the middle, all right? Nice and light on our feet. Let's go. All right, after this, back to the top. And we're gonna do some mountain runners and we'll do our snatch to overhead press. Then one more time for both our leg exercises. And then we're already on to circuit number two. All right, here we go. Three more seconds, two. Great job on the ground, please. Mountain runners, keeping your core nice and tight. It's great anytime we're in plank position. It's a great core exercise or we integrate our core as well. All right, let's go. Make sure we're not dropping our head. Stacking your shoulders straight over our wrists, so no bumps in the air, please. All right, snatch to overhead press. Following mountain runners, please. That's it, one, two, one, two. Keep going. All right, up and at them. Grab that heavier dumbbell if you can. Nice wide stance. My toes are slightly pointed out. Coming down, driving, one, two. All right, great job. Keep going, extending up, core is nice and tight, right? All right, we are going to hit up both of our leg exercises, starting with our weighted curtsy, followed by our pop surfers. That's it, extending, bam, one, two. Great job, weighted curtsies, dumbbell in each hand, starting legs, shoulders apart, and bam, dipping down. Dipping down, bringing that back knee close to the ground, keeping your chest up, core is nice and tight. All right, pop surfers to end. Circuit two, we start with some plank shoulder taps. 
Excellent. All right, five more seconds. Great job. Staying low, three, two. Got one more. All right, hop surfers. Staying, feet are shoulder width apart. Then bam, land it out. Bam, land it out. Sitting back. One, two, that's it. So I'm kind of like popping up on the balls of my feet, almost in that middle position. Bam, and then landing feet flat. All right, meet me on the ground. Plank position, plank shoulder tops. Here you go, three more seconds, two, one, great job. Same thing, let's shake out the legs. Same thing for our, show, our um, mountain runners, stacking your shoulders over your wrists. One, two, one, two. No bums in the air, please. Hands are flat on that ground. I always say to push through your palms, push through the palms of your hands. That's it, legs are shoulder width apart. We are going to do a goblet squat to reverse lunge. Weighted, single dumbbell, go a bit heavier if you can. All right, here we go, up top. I wanna squat, lunge, step it out, squat. All right, here we go, so lunge, sorry, squat. Now this is a lunge, back to squat, step it out. That's it, pushing those knees out in squat position. Legs come shoulder width apart. All right, hammer to overhead press, upper body, all right? So a hammer curl, arms are tucked in. Overhead press, it's a neutral grip position. So our palms are facing in. All right, here we go, tuck it in, extending. Great job. All right, we have body weight legs. Do some body weight curtsies. Doing the weighted version. Let's do our body weight. Love my curtsies, you guys know that. Arms tucked in, bam. Press it up, three, two, one. Good. Great job. So same thing, body weight now though. You can come down a little bit lower if you can. Same movement, but I want you tapping, tapping. All right, here we go, coming across. That's it. If you wanna stay upright and just give me this, that's absolutely no problem. All right, we have weighted, sorry, not weighted, we're back to our shoulder taps, lift the upper body, our two exercises, and then our lower body, two exercises. All right, plank shoulder taps on the ground. So the second part of this workout is where I throw in a bit more of our body weight over our weighted. All right, here we go, one, two, hands are flat on that ground, no bums in the air, please. We have our goblet, squat, to reverse lunge following this. No, I'm so sorry we don't. We have our hammer to overhead press. That's my bad. Here we go. Three more seconds to one. I'm gonna crank it up a bit. Go heavier for this. All right, hammer, bam. So if you see my legs are shoulders apart, soft bend in my knees. My feet are flat on that ground. I'm so happy today too, because where I live, it has been gray for as long as I can remember. I think I can count on one hand the amount of days we've seen the sun. And this morning, the sun is out. And I love it. Three, two, one. All right, we got goblet to reverse lunge. Up here, starting that squat position. Step it out. This changes your whole mood when you see that sun. You're like, I'm gonna get some of that vitamin D. All right, squatting, step it out. That's it, I want your weight on your heels for this squat, all right? Sitting back, bam, pushing those knees out, squat position. All right, curtsies, three, two, one, body weight curtsies. Then we're already on to circuit number three after this. You have some body drops with plank reaches. All right, body weight curtsies to end circuit two. Then we're gonna start up circuit three. Body drop, two plank reaches. Then we have a reverse jump squat to a dumbbell swing. And I always say, if you have a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell for that as well. All right, come on, staying low. Dip, one, two, three, two, one. On the ground, you're going to push yourself on, arms tucked in, reach for one, reach for two, back down. All right, here we go, body drop, two plank reaches, tuck it in, end up, one. Two, same thing, always in this plank position. Do not drop your head. No bums in the air. 
You want your arms nice and tucked in and up. Here we go. One, two, let's hit up the legs in three seconds. Two, one. All right, wide stance. Drag that towards you. Take a jump back, swing back down, jump it back, drag it and swing. Here we go. So take that jump back, squeezing your glutes, swing it forward, jump back, sitting low into that squat position, right? Sitting nice and low. All right, we have a back and shoulder combo coming up. Three more seconds, two, one. I want a lateral, sorry, bent over fly. Bent over fly, stand up, lateral raise. All right, two and one, let's go. One, stand up, lateral raise. Get those elbows up, coming down nice and low. Start on the outside of your thighs for our lateral raise, please. Don't swing. Both exercises here, squeezing the shoulder blades up, leading up the elbows. Three more seconds, two, great job. Staggered squats, body weight, back toe in line with the heel of that front foot. One, two, one, two, here we go. One, two, sitting back on the heel of that front foot. All right, just tapping. If you don't wanna tap on the ground, you can just stay here, one, two. All right, less than 10, back to our body drop and our bent over fly with lateral raise to follow. Three, two, one, there we go. Shaky, shaky on the ground, arms are tucked in. Body drop to plank reach. I do have core uh, movements thrown in here. We will hit them up after we are done. Our fourth circuit, and I have them integrated into the last part of the workout. That's it, pushing up, arms are tight. One, two, tucked in, and up. All right, bent over fly, lateral raise coming up. Let's go. I go a bit lighter for this because of my lateral raise. That's the one that uh, I can't go as heavy as I can for my flies and up. So I want you coming down nice and low, legs are shoulder width apart. Bam, sticking that bum out here, standing up, soft bend in your knees. Anytime we're in that position, doing our over or upper body work. All right, three more seconds. Reverse jump squat, dumbbell swing or kettlebell if you have it. So starting, reaching head, ahead, jumping back, drag it and swing, squeezing. Let's go, nice and low. Pushing those knees out, bam. That's it, keep going. Ending with our staggered squats. Last circuit before we put this all together. Circuit four coming up. That's it, five more seconds, please. Great job, nice and low, stay low. There we go. Stagger squats to end, just chuck it. Stagger squats and plank jacks. Three seconds, here we go, legs are shoulder width apart. Let's go, one, two, that's it. Excellent, I'm thankful I have a solid ground underneath because I don't, I should throw my weights without thinking sometimes. I shouldn't be doing that. All right, that's it, coming down nice and low. Bam, one, two, meet me on the ground. Plank position, please pushing those knees out. Three, two, one, stacking your shoulders over your wrists. We're just gonna plank jack in and out. One, two, pushing through the palms of your hands. Your shoulders should be on fire after this. All right, core is tight. We are going to do some weighted step ups. If you can't do a step up, you're going to do a weighted squat to two front kicks or to one front kick. I will demo quickly, three, two, one, up, here we go. You can't do a step up, it's a squat to kick, squat to kick. If not, here we go, one, two, and up. Back down again, one, two, drive it up, that's it. All right, after this, what do we got? We should have another back and shoulders exercise. Do a bent over row to a high row. All right, drive that knee up, stabilize, three, two, one. All right, once again, I just throw it. All right, I want to row, and then up, high row. Here we go, bent over row. Turn the wrist, palms facing in. Bam, up, under your chin. Let's go, getting down, drive the elbows back. 
fully extending for this row. Turn the, the palms facing you, please. That's it. And up. All right. Body weight, jump squats. And then we're back to the top with our plank jacks. Here we go. All right, coming down. Nice and light on your feet, pushing those knees out. As you come down to squat position. All right, plank jacks, followed by a bent over row to high rows. Finishing with our two leg exercises. Throwing some core. Then the last blast of all these exercises. All right, plank jacks, stacking your shoulders, really push through, keep everything nice and tight. Here we go, let's get those reps in. Heart rate's elevated, here we go, one, two, one, two, that's it. Pushing through the palms of your hands. Excellent, no bums in the air, please. All right, bent over row, high rows, you hear that beep, back at it. All right, so I want you coming down nice and low for that bent over row. Like the shoulder with the part, driving the elbows back, turning the wrist, high row. Let's go. Drive it back, up. Bam, good job. All right, from here, weighted step ups. And then we have our jump squat. Getting down low, stand up, bam, that's it. Five more seconds, three, two or more. Gotta finish there. All right, here we go. So like I said, if you can't do a step up, it's a squat, front kick. All right, everybody else if you can. Here we go, one, two, you drive up. One, two, bam. I'm staying on that one foot if you need to. Tap it out. Let's go, less than 10. We're gonna end with our jump squats. Then we're gonna meet me on the ground. Two core movements. Push through the heel of that foot, really drive through. You want to feel in the outside, the back of your legs for our step ups. All right, jump squats. Let's go. Really important, I know I talk about it, I'm so repetitive in the cues that I give, but it's really important the placement of our weight to help with the focus on the muscle group that we want to work. All right, we're going to do some ball tuck and extend on the ground. Here you go, three more seconds. Two, one, great job on the ground. I want you staying up. Extend, hollow rock, back up. All right, ball tuck, and up. Here we go. So our first movement is going to be body weight. Then we're gonna do some weighted twists coming up. So I want a dumbbell, please. Extending, that's it, make sure we're breathing. Great job, hold it here. And up, three more seconds, two, one, single dumbbell. So you can come across like this, heels on the ground. I'm going to be bringing one knee in and out. So three different ways you can take this one on. You wanna just keep them stationary or just rest your heels on the ground, or you don't even need a weight. So there's four different ways you can hit this up. All right, back at it, we got some mountain runners. And we're gonna do a snatch to overhead press. This is our last blast. Mountain runners though, I want us now driving our knees across our body. So we're gonna work more of our obliques. Bam, 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 all right? Here we go, opposite knee to opposite elbow. We're gonna do our snatch to overhead press. So we're hitting up circuit one, the upper body exercises. Here we go, one, two, drive it across. Really push through your palms, that's it. Three more seconds, single dumbbell. Up, here we go. All right, starting midline, extending all the way, core is tight. I always say I'm going to grab, grab my sweat towel. That would make life so much easier. And all of these years I've been doing these workouts or recording them, I never grab it. I think maybe one or two I might have. I need to really start doing that. The sweat is everywhere. Three, two, one. One more time. Mountain runners. I want us driving those knees across. Plank position. Then we're gonna stay here. We have some plank shoulder taps. All right, drive the knees across. One, two, one, two. All right, so we're gonna be hitting up the exercises for circuit two. Upper body, 
We have some plank jacks and hammer to overhead press. Let's go one, two, one, two. Right to that beep every time. All right, great job, plank shoulder taps. Stay down here, Straight, um, back your shoulders over our wrist. Here we go. All right, so we know this is the last part of the workout. So I want our dial of intensity now. Let's really focus, bear down, and get these reps in. All right, one, a lot of body weight coming up. So let's take this on. Everything we got goes into it. All right, hammer, overhead press. See, when I throw my weights like that, I get all mixed up. All right, hammer curl, overhead press. Let's go. One, two, keep them tucked into our sides. Legs are shoulder width apart. Soft bend in your knees. That's it. Tuck, do not be arching your back, keeping your core nice and tight. All right, plank shoulder taps. One more time. Three more seconds. Two. Great job. Plank shoulder taps. We're gonna stay down here. We're gonna do some body drop to two plank reaches. All right, let's go. So, all right, bear through the upper body because we're gonna do the same thing to our legs. Here you go, one, two, don't drop your head. No bums in the air, please. Circuit three coming up, our upper body exercises. We have our body drop and we have our fly to lateral raise. That's it, great job. All right, staying down here. Remember, tuck those arms in, keeping your core nice and tight for our body drop. Then we grab our dumbbells and do some back and shoulders. Here we go, all the way down, extend for one, two, that's it, pushing through, bam, one, two. So I'm not moving my position of my head this entire time. I can see that one blade of turf that I'm staring at this entire time, one, two, that's it, keep going. Grab the dumbbells now, please. Let's do some bent over fly. Staying down nice and low, squeezing, standing up, lateral raise. Here we go. That's it. And up. Shoulders feel toasty right now. Here you go. Up. And we barely did. The majority was body weight. We feel good. Get up those, get those elbows up, please. No swinging. Be in control. That's it. Three more seconds. One more time for our body drop. And then we'll hit up the upper body movements for the last circuit. All right, here we go. Body drop, please. We're gonna stay here, do some plank jacks, followed by our row, bent over row to high row. Then we will throw in our core movement before we start circuit or the lower body uh, blast. One, two, keep going please. That's it. All right, stay here. I was ready to get my dumbbells, ready to demo the row. No, we have plank jacks. <laughs> Here we go, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, same thing. I am still staring at that spot ahead of me. No bumps in the air. Quick movements, right? One, two, pushing through the palms of your hands. All right, bent over row, high row. Then we'll end with a ball tuck, and then we'll hit up our legs, please. That's it, pushing through, come on. Awesome, let's go. So coming down nice and low, just like our flies. Drive the elbow back, turn it around, and up. Here we go, drive it back, up. Excellent. All right, ball tuck and extend. Then we're gonna start with some pop surfers. We'll start with the exercises from circuit one. That's it, drive it back all the way up. Soft bend in your knees. Every time we're bam in that position. All right, great job on the ground. Ball tuck to extend. Then circuit, or circuit one, we have some pop surfers and we have a weighted curtsy. That's it, tuck in, get that hollow rock position and extend. That's it, excellent. Make sure we're breathing. <sighs> Great job. All right, love my leg work. We got that coming up, come on. Last, last blast, right? Last part of the workout. Bam, let's do it. Pop surfers, let's go. Pop surfers followed by weighted curtsies and ending with our pop surfers. Legs and shoulders apart, let's go. Step it out for one, step it out for two. That's it, excellent, one, two. In that middle, bam, end out, great job. 
alternating the hand are you touching down with hinging back sinking back into those hips all right five hard let's go that's it three two awesome way to curtsy grab your dumbbells please only one round of weighted curtsies two rounds of body weight just like our upper body uh circuit that we just did at the end here all right chest up sinking back weight on your heel right let's get as much as our glute work in that we can excellent less than 10 drop the dumbbells we have two body weight exercises coming up three more seconds that's it i want to finish bam great job hop surfers followed by circuit two curtsies body weight all right let's go one two like i said i pop up on the balls of my feet and bam sinking back that's it i love body weight because it's like a lot of plyometric movements that we get to do a lot of bounding using our little muscles i love here you go three more seconds that's it too great job shake it out curtsies body weight followed by our goblet to reverse lunge here we go three two one tuck it in coming across that's it tucking it in like i said if you find you're compromising your form just stay upright no need to touch or touch down right here we go less than 10 single dumbbell goblet to reverse lunge three two one all right grab this bad boy starting goblet squat position and step it out into reverse lunge here we go all right extend step it back here we go coming all the way down don't forget about that squat coming all the way down this is a good one one and back all right ending with our body weight curtsies and we're going to start with our staggered squats two body weight in a row three two one body weight curtsies first staggered squat then reverse jump squat the dumbbell swing circuit three exercises coming up just like that one two that's it tuck it in get the heart rate elevated and keep them up now to the end of the workout let's go to get those reps in bam week two we're coming in hot that's it awesome all right five more seconds please three more great job all right we're starting stagger squats feet are shoulder width apart that back foot on your toe in line with that heel same thing if you compromise your form by touching the ground just stay stay upright all right but i want you sinking back into your hips putting the weight as best you can on your heel you will feel this in your quadriceps that's absolutely normal because we're coming over the front of our leg right all right three more seconds two one reverse jump squat oh the legs legs are loving me today reverse jump squat to swing here we go step it back sting low squeeze all right we're ending this circuit one more round of staggered squats then our last two exercises ending with our core movement five more seconds please that's it three two one great job staggered squats all by our jump squats we're going to end with our weighted step ups for our legs and then last exercise of the day instead of body weight jump squats we'll do our weighted twist for our core all right let's go nice and light come on bam one two let's pick up the pace less than 10 we got this we get to get a nice big glass of water when this is done wipe the sweat off three two awesome shaky shaky awesome be fun jump squats weighted step ups come on we got this let's dig deep awesome all right pushing those knees out coming all the way down to squat position nice and light on our feet as you see i like to use my arms my upper body driving my elbows back as i pop up all right that's it that's it five more here we go last three weighted step ups last weighted one of the day and then meet me on the ground our weighted twist here we go three two step it down one two remember like i said push through to your midfoot to your heel 
as you step up, bam, that's it. Less than 10, keeping your chest up, core is nice and tight. Five more seconds. Awesome, meet me on the ground, three, two, one, woo -hoo. All right, way to twist. Remember all those variations we can do? I'm gonna bring one knee in at a time. All right, coming across for one, two, one. Whatever we do, it's 20 seconds hard, right to the end, come on. One, two, that's it, coming across. Really bring your upper torso and that weight across your body. That's it, last five, come on. Three, two, one. We are done. Thanks for joining, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We're having a great time with this challenge. See you soon.